Hey, it's Mike from Epic Duck Studios, and today I'm learning to play Malifaux. I've got Ash here with me, who knows how to play Malifaux, so that's how we're going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'll be walking through um, how to set up a game. So if you guys never played Malifaux before, this might be useful. You can see how to set up a game, um, the basic ins and outs of force selection, and then we'll play a 25 Soulstone match. So if you don't have one of these, I suggest you buy this deck. This is a Strategies and Schemes deck. It actually walks you through the steps of setting up a game. And the very first thing we're going to do is define and place terrain. So what I usually do in Malifaux is I fill up a third of the table with terrain, um, and then me and my opponent go back and forth placing it. So this is about enough to fill a three foot table. Yeah. So we put it all to one side and we each take a piece and put it wherever we want on the table in a pleasing manner. And that's really the only thing. But the important thing about doing it is both of you have agreed what kind of terrain it all is during setup and no questions come up during the match. So I'm going to go ahead and place a woods right here. Okay. And then you can go ahead and place any piece you'd like anywhere you'd like. All right. I'm just going to turn the camera off. We'll do that all. All right. So here's our terrain deployment. Nice and pleasing. We're in a part of the quarantine zone. Yeah. City streets and stuff. So next we determine our encounter size, which is going to be 25 soul stones. You both picked a faction. Now Mike's playing uh, guild. He's actually got a guild series painting up, but he's going to be borrowing mine for today. And yes, I am. Neverborn. Um, strategies and schemes are next. So strategies is the primary thing that we're playing for. There's five of them. And you'll flip a card right now and tell me what suit it is or if it's a joker. It's a mask. And that means we are playing Reconnoiter. So divide the table into four 18 by 18 quadrants. You can see there's already lines on this mat for mats by Mars to do that. Yeah. So four quarters, basically. Um, you will earn victory points each round, starting at the second one, um, if you control more quarters than your opponent. So through the course of the game, the game usually lasts five or six, sorry, six or seven turns. Um, you could get potentially four or five VPs from this one strategy. So that's the one we're both trying to get. Now we're going to flip for schemes. So you flip two more cards. Okay. And that'll tell us what our four schemes in the scheme pool are. So it'll be an eight, a mask, um, a raven, sorry, a crow, and a six. And that's from our scheme pool. We got plant evidence. So once per game, at the end of any turn, the crew can reveal the scheme and earn a VP for uh, each Eddie model. It's within three of at least one of its scheme markers. So you can drop scheme markers anywhere. Uh, and you can basically plant them around your opponent's models. And then when you reveal that scheme marker, it's like, ha ha, the glove fits. <laughs> and you earn VPs for doing it. Um, you get deliver a message. So uh, you have to run up someone who isn't the leader of the crew and can't be a peon. So it can't be someone disposable. It also can't be the toughest guy in your crew. And then you have to spend two actions telling the other crew's leader something. So you risk that guy getting killed, basically. You t typically do it after everyone's activated. Right. You run up and then you hope you go first and then you deliver the message. Uh, and if you do it then you, and you reveal it, actually, you'll get bonus VPs for doing it. We have Breakthrough. So at the end of the game, you earn a VP for each uh, ski marker within six of the enemy deployment zone. And if you reveal it, you get an extra one. So you want to get at least two and you usually reveal this one. Your enemy's deployment zone can be all kinds of different shapes and sizes, um, but this is one of the ones you can pick if you have fast guys in your crew. And then assassinate, the scheme begins the game unrevealed. Um, and if you kill the opponent's leader, you get two VPs. If you do it on or before turn four, you get three. So we each get to pick two of these and not tell our opponent which ones we've picked. Um, or we can, like if, for case, if you do get breakthrough, you could choose to reveal it during the reveal phase. So now we actually hire our crew. So now we know what we're playing for. We go through and we hire our crews. Um, and once we do that, we'll actually choose and reveal any schemes uh, and we'll do our deployment. We'll flip for deployment and see where our crews are and stuff. Just a little errata there. Uh, Ash read off. Sorry, what, plant evidence? Yeah. Plant evidence. Basically from memory, where we actually had plant explosives. So he wasn't even looking at the card, he just you know rattled it all off. I saw plants and thought that was yeah. that. Oops. So anyway, that's just to clear that up. It's gonna be an eight and in the deployment style. That's going to mean, flip this over, that we are doing the corner deployment. So it's a 12 inch bubble. So behind yep. this white line so right here. Nice white line right here. Again, the Mats by Mars has all of the different measurements marked for all the different things in the game. Um, so we'll know exactly where to play. Yep. All right, so here is my crew. I'm borrowing some of uh, Ash's models because mine are not painted yet. These are also the older edition models, but nothing wrong with them by any means. So for my leader, I'm taking the Judge, and he's actually free and gives me a four Soulstone rebate there. I'm taking three Witchling Stalkers for 15, Executioner for nine, and then I've got a buffer of five Soulstones left over. Yeah, the four from your cash plus one from your unspent Soulstone. Yeah. 
I took Angel Eyes as my henchman back here. She's the cheeky with the rifle. And then the Sign of Black Blood. Both these are from the new starter set, um, and they work really well together. Then I have an Illuminated from Jacob Lynch's starter set for seven. Uh, Terror Tot, he's good for running schemes. He's just zippy fast. And a Stitch Together. They've actually just done new plastic renders for the Stitch Together, but that's the old metal one right there. And that puts me exactly at 25, which means all I have in my uh, Soul Stone pool is the four from Angel Eyes' Cash. That's all right. my 25 Soul Stone crew. All right, and we are both revealing Breakthrough as one of our two... Schemes. Schemes. Cool. Right. And I've got another one hidden here. Ash is actually using the Through the Breach app for his, so he doesn't have cards on the table for his. Yeah. And now we're flipping for deployment. So high flip goes. I got a seven. I got a three. That's right. definitely high for you. Um, now you could stone to to change this, but eh. I don't think you're going to. Not my first game. All right, I'm going to choose this deployment right here. Okay, then I yeah, guess yeah. I'm sitting right here. That's it. All right, so here we are deployed. Couple witchlings on the left, executioner and the judge on the right. And yeah, I've got my terror tot, my stitch together, angel eyes, the sign of black blood, and my illuminated. There we are. So we both drawn our hands. Gonna flip for initiative now. Three, two. Oh, sorry, seven rather. That's well, your seven definitely beats my two. Okay, are you gonna stone to go first? I will points. not. Okay. Because I want to see you actually play. Do something. Person. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna start off with Mr. Stitch together. Okay. So he's gonna activate. Um, he's got two actions because he's a minion. Actually, everything has two actions. Masters have three. Uh, and he's going to take a tactical action first, which is called Creepy Fog. Uh, until the end of the turn, within four inches of him, with an area effect of four inches of him, everyone counts as being in the height three soft cover. Okay. And the Creepy Fog falls him around. So I, it has a casting of six and a target number of 13. I have to flip a seven here, and I do. You yeah, exactly flip a seven. So I got exactly what I needed. So he is now Creepy Fogged. Okay. Lock that with a token. All right, so that was his zero action. That's right, and he has a walk of four. So he'll take a first action to walk, and go four, and then another action to walk again, and go another four, and he's just going to end here at the edge. All right, so I'm going to activate one of my Witchling Stalkers. Oh, what was his speed? I didn't actually check that. Four or five. And, uh, charge, it's two actions. You okay. You move your charge distance, and you get two free melee actions against the target you charge. But I don't think anyone's going to be in charge range this turn. Not this turn. No. All right, so we're gonna move him four, and then another four. Oh, this, yeah. I can't actually see the numbers on this gauge. When it's upside down, it's very hard. Yeah. And then four again. Four again. Boop. There we are. The Illuminated's gonna go. Um, he's got all kinds of awesome abilities, but the most awesome one of all is to walk, walk. <laughs> so he's not gonna do anything else. He's not damaged, so he doesn't need to regenerate. Uh, his walk is five, so he'll walk five over to here. And then five over here and hug this wall and be in the zone. Okay, I'm going to activate the executioner next, and he's going to walk, walk. Okay. And he's so it's going to be is four. It's four. It's so four. I'm just going to go six and two, just because the gauge works that way. You got it. Actually, it's one and that's two across there, isn't it? Yes, it, it, it is. Yeah. So he's now straddling quadrants, not quite in yet. So the sign of black blood's going to go. Uh, he doesn't really have any passive stuff to do right now. Nope, I don't have much else to do. I'm not going to bother Forbidden Ritualing, so we're just going to walk, walk. Let me go five each turn. And we're going to get ourselves over here, and then five again, over this way. And get in the zone. All right. All right, I'm going to activate another Witchling Stalker, and we're just going to walk, walk, and it's going to bring him just up. Behind his buddy. Yep. And two of them just chiming out there. Mm. We're going to activate Angel Eyes. She's going to move. She's probably gonna have to, and she walks five. She's gonna walk herself up behind these crates. Yep. And then she's gonna check range on that witch thing. She has a 14 inch range on her gun. I think you might have that. Uh, uh, no, I'm just out. I'm just out. Excellent. <laughs> and what are we gonna do for our second thing? We are going to. Oh, we'll just go defensive. Okay, I'm going to activate the judge. We're going to walk, walk. He has a move 10. That's going to give me... I'm just going to walk right up to... The wall takes The wall. That's just a little bit short of... Taking a little bit of cover. But no actions left, so I'm not going to defend. Terry Dot's going to go. Uh, he is going to sprint. Now, sprint lets him move his normal walk of five. And then he gets to flip a card. And if he flips a mask, he gets to walk again. Okay. He does, so he gets to walk again for free. This guy's so fast. And then he's going to sprint again okay. <laughs> for a second action, which means he gets to go five over to here, and then flip a card. That's another mask. And so he gets to go yep. 20 inches this turn. 
That is crazy fast. Uh, I love you, Terra Tide. Uh, I'm gonna activate my last Witchling Stalker here. I'm gonna move him walk, walk. Go up here. Well, I see what you're doing. Yeah, you I can't quite get doing. far enough to contest that corner yet. Nope. And in turn, all these counters come off, so my Kirby Fog goes away, my defensive goes away. And I've got no status counters on my side. And so. we get to uh, shuffle, discard, and then draw new hands up to six. Okay, and all right. We'll turn two shift. there. We both discarded, shuffled, etc. Nine to 13. I'm taking that one. All right, you go first. Okay, so I'm going to start by activating the Switchling Stalker. He's going to walk, walk his eight up to here. Okay. And be dangerous. And be dangerous. Creepy Fog. Eight of seven. Don't get it. You're going to have to cheat. <laughs> Cheating with a ten of rams to get it off. Okay. So Creepy Fog is now in effect. Uh, and then he's going to move his four up to here. And then he's going to move his four again. And put himself over here. All right. All right, gonna activate the next switching stalker. He's gonna charge his distance of six. Doesn't quite get me there, but we don't need to be base to base because I have a one inch reach on my weapon. Uh oh. So I'm there now. So two melee attacks. All right. So I'm can't really see that because the glare. Melee six here, and there's the range one. And you are defense four. Okay. So do you do these Almost one attack one. at a time? Yep. So I have a thirteen. You have a sixteen. Okay. I'm going to let it go through. Okay. Now it's a difference of three, which means it is a weak hit. It's not above five. Okay. So it's a negative flip to damage me. So two pick the lowest and it can't be cheated. Now you could cheat it higher if you wanted to. Right. If you get to a 13 or more, then it could be cheatable, but. Okay. To you. So nope. two, flip two. Moderate. Oh. And moderate. So what's your middle number on your damage grid? Middle number on my damage grid is three. All right. So it's going to be three damage against me. I go down from seven to three. All right. They're four, sorry. And we got one more attack coming. Uh, now I have to flip a card before you do anything else. Okay. Taking damage. If it is a raven, or a crow rather, you take two splash damage from rotten contents. It's not, so you're fine. Okay, and also, I think uh, all models damaged by this model gain burning plus yeah. one. So I have a burning counter on me. I discard at the end of the round, take a damage. Burning. Ouch. Okay, and then second attack. Yep, you got it. Defense four against melee six. I got a nine. You got a nine. So technically you are winning right now, so I'll have to cheat. I will cheat with a... Mm, I'm gonna cheat with a... 13 to make it into a big number. That's a 17 now. All right. All right, so you've cheated with a 13, so for me to beat that, I also have to cheat with a 13. And you do. All which right. I do. So that puts you at 19 to my 17, it's so a difference of two. So it's a negative flip again. Now yep. do you have critical strike? I do, but it's on... Rams? No, it's on Ravens. Oh, okay. So we didn't flip Ravens, yeah. so. All right, so flip two. two. Most, yeah. So six of Ravens. That's moderate and moderate. Also so moderate. Three again. Yeah, three again. All right, I'm down to one damage, and that means that the Eternal Nightmare gets progged, and I gain the reactivate condition. All right. Which you also gain burning one again, do you I not? I sure do. <laughs> I'm now burning two. Uh, burning, and I get to reactivate. It burns. Ouch. All right, I want to see this Eternal Nightmare thing. That let's sounds see, fun. Let's see if I flip a crow. I don't, so you do not get splashed with rotten contents. All right, well, that's good. <clears throat> okay, so he's going to reactivate. I'm just going to activate him again right now. Okay. Um, and he just gets his full content of off of, whatchamacallit, actions. Yep, Mr. Oogie Boogie there is going to yep. reactivate. With he's going to reactivate. Eternal Nightmare. Um, mm, let's gamble your life. That sounds fun. <laughs> that's right. So it's a casting action against your defense. as a range of six. Um, and the target suffers three, four, seven damage. If this model fails this action, actually, sorry, I'm gonna hooks you first. I'm gonna hooks you first, and if that doesn't work, you can gamble your life. Okay. So it's a melee attack, melee five against your defense of whatever. I can't flip this card. Uh, defense five, yes. Okay. So straight attack. I got a seven. I got a two. Oh man. Or five. Sorry, I can't read numbers. Yeah, I'm gonna cheat with the red Joker. All right, well, I'm not gonna bother cheating then, because... Okay, so that's gonna put me at a 19. 
uh, to your big ten. number of 10. Uh, so difference of nine, so it's a straight flip. It's not more than 11. It's gonna be moderate damage, which is two. Okay. Two. All right. All right, so I've now taken two damage there, and, and you're gonna gamble my life? your life. So it's casting action of mask against defense of uh, six. So it's six against your five. Okay. I get a 14. I get a 10. A, a, a nine. Nine, five. yeah, I can do math. Nine to 14, you wanna cheat? Um, no, I don't. Okay, so then you take a three, four, seven damage flip. Uh, bloop. You take seven damage. I'm pretty sure you explode. I just explode. <laughs> okay, so all models within two suffer one damage when this model is killed. So we're both killed. So you just die as well. Yep, took you with me. Mutually assured destruction. That's it, peace trading. All right, I'm gonna activate my second witchling here. He's gonna move up four. And then he's going to fire his pistol, or at least attempt to. I think you're in range. Let me just measure that really quick. Illuminated there is just within 12, like literally 11.9 inches there. <laughs> so we're going to take the shot. All right, so I'm flipping two and taking the lowest because I'm... Sh I'll take the 11 ram. Oh, I got a two for a seven. I'm pretty sure that went off. Yeah, seven to four... Sorry, it's 11, so it's going to be 15. A 15. So seven to 15, difference of eight, it's a straight flip, but you can't cheat it because you're negative from the cover. So go ahead. All right. Oh, sorry, are you a living model? I believe I am. Okay, we need to count some cards back because you need to be, you're probably gonna end up actually getting this one. Okay. Because that's gonna be your horror duel test because I'm terrifying 10, which means okay. you'll, you'll pass, flip one more card. Okay. It's still a 12 for Rams. All right, even better. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious that you hit me with. Um, and yeah, so you do whatever uh, negative damage flip. So flip two, pick the lowest. Okay. Because you didn't quite get high enough for it to be a positive. Flip two, pick the lowest. That's going to be weak. And what's your weak damage? Uh, weak damage is one. I have armor one, but you can't reduce damage below one, so I just take one. Damage. All right, so I do have a crit condition there, but I have to flip both a ram and a book. I get the ram for free, but I didn't flip a book, so the crit does not go off, but you do still gain burning one, because I set everything on fire all the time. That's it. Angel is gonna go. She's gonna walk five over here. And then we are going to shoot our gun into that witchling. This one over here, I'm guessing? That's right, and we are well within 14. So she is shoot six. All right, shoot six, defense five. Nine. That's not good. 12. Nine to 12. I'll shoot with a 10 to make it a 16. All right, I will not. <laughs> okay, 12 to 16, so it's a negative flipped out of damage. So two pick the lowest. That's gonna be moderate, which for her is three. Okay, so I take three damage. Yep. Now I have a trigger called Hide in the Shadows. Because uh, I played that mask, I get to move three inches after I succeed. Okay. So she's gonna move three over here. There we go. Wow. Well done, Aaron. Terrain fail. <laughs> Executioner is going to walk, walk. Come up here. And that's his whole turn. <clears throat> gonna charge with the Scion into your Executioner. He has a charge of seven. Gonna go six and one over to here. Party down. Party down, Wayne. Party down, guard. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so he has two free melee actions from that. He is melee five. All right. Defense five on my side. I got a 17. I got an eight. Would you like cheats? I will not. Okay. So um, that will be a three, four, six flip. It is straight. So let's see what happens here. So that's all right. That's 17 against eight. It's a difference of nine. So that's a straight flip. Severe, that's six damage. All right. Let's just take that damage. The, all right, we're gonna have to roll that back because we have to take a horror duel It first. just means I have, to redo the, I have to redo the damage flip. Yeah. Because this would be my attack flip now. That would be my horror duel. Yeah. This would be my attack flip. Now this is my damage yeah, flip. Yeah, and I'm terrifying 12, which you rolled a 12, so yeah. 12, yeah. So I actually do weak damage, um, which I could cheat, because it was a straight flip. And I will cheat it to moderate. Now I've got a ram in my total here, and that means that my damage grid becomes plus one, because I have critical strike. 
Oh, so, no, uh, yeah, I've got something else, actually, got Blood's Favor, so I'm not actually going to prog that. Um, but that's, yeah, that's going to be four damage instead of six. Okay, so that's a little bit better for me. Yeah. All right, second, second attack. attack, and I'm immune to horror duels now for, against him for the rest of the turn. I get a 11. I got a... Or six. Going to cheat. Uh, 11, yeah, I'll cheat that. Let's you go. make it a negative for the least. Oh, wow, okay. So go up to a 15. 15, I can't cheat any higher than I have. So it's going to miss, and he's done. Okay, so we're going to walk the judge over to here, staying just outside the bubble in the middle. And that's going to put me within 12 of Angel Eyes there. And I'm now going to cast Stand for Judgment against Angel Eyes. That's a zero point action. Casting five ram, target number nine ram. Okay, okay so I need a four or better. And you have to beat your total. So what's your total? Total number was nine. Nine ram. So it has gone off, and I have to resist it. And I get a nine, so I don't. Okay. And I can't cheat any higher. All right, so that's going to pull you five inches towards me. Okay. Or rather push you, but same thing. Push is important. It's not a move. Which right. means it, it ignores breaking out of melee, ignores uh, like disengaging strikes and stuff. Right. And so now I've done two things here. I've now pulled you into my weapon range because I have a shorter range gun. But I've also now made it so you're in the null zone and not counting for that quadrant. You got it. Which was... A big deal. Yeah. So I'm now going to go ahead and just shoot you with my long arm pistol. Mm -hmm. It's a shooting five. Cool. Def six. So there's a 16. Whoa! To my seven. So you beat me by nine. It's a straight flip for damage. I can't cheat it. Okay. And straight flip for damage. It's going to be a five. That's weak. Can we cheat that? I sure can. It's straight flip. And what do we, sorry, uh, to get to the high. You need uh, 11 plus. All right. I don't have one I can cheat to, so we're going to cheat it to a right. moderate. Okay. I know I just told you what I have in my cheat deck. And how much is that? That's going to be a three. Okay, so one, two, three damage. So I'm spending a soul stone to damage prevent. Okay. On a one to five, it's one. Six to ten, it's two. 11 plus, it's three. So I actually got to prevent all the damage. You jerk. I know. So All right. Board save. <laughs> and you still have the Terror Tot to go then, right? Uh, and the Illuminated. Matthew with the Illuminated. Um, he is going to discard a card to Brill Shape. And, okay. Oh, sorry. He's going to. Oh, I forgot to do that. I'm just going to regenerate one damage, because I do. Okay. I regenerate one. So he's now fully healed. And then he's going to charge your Executioner. Okay. Move to here. He has two inch reach. Uh, actually, I'll move to there. Charge out. I'll give it in two. Is he no longer in that quadrant because he's in the middle? Where I can yeah. That I won't be with one inch of my own guy and I'll be within two. I just want to be on this line right here. There we go. I just don't want to be an inch of my own scion if you start hitting him and I start taking damage from it. And I'm not. Yeah, you're so just outside. Good. Okay. Okay. Um, so two attacks. He is with his hardened brilliance, uh, melee six. Okay. So melee six gets your defensive five. I get a seven. I also get a seven. So you're technically losing right now. Can I I'll cheat? cheat that. Hang on one sec. Seven. Yeah, I'll cheat that up to a. 13. I can't cheat any higher. So let's go again. Okay. I get a twelve. Black Joker can't be cheated. So you get a five total, um, <laughs> which puts me at seven different. So it's a straight flip. All right. And let's see how much damage that is. Severe, five damage. Five damage to the Executioner. Ouch. It's just All right. So I'm now down to one hit point left on the Executioner. That's kind of uh, terrifying. Uh, you didn't have to take a terrified check against him, did you? Did we forget uh, that? Probably. Okay, not. hang on. I also cause terrified, but I think that doesn't actually cancel anything. All right, let's just double check that really quick. I don't think it matters, but oh, yeah, we got to roll back some cards here. It's okay. Um, it would have been against the first one. So my first one actually would have been this one, which missed. That would have been my terror test. What's your terrifying level? Terror twelve. Yep, I did. Would have canceled everything. Okay. You have no damage because I'm, I'm paralyzed. Right. Okay, so I didn't take that damage because we forgot about terror tests. Right. All right, so the guy with giant monster hands is afraid of my giant metal hands <laughs> and is burning and terrorized and just sitting there cowering and I have a lot more hit points than I thought I did. All right, terror tot's going to try and charge the witchling. He charges six. Yeah, I think he got it. Oh, I got it all day. You do. Here. Uh, what's your melee? 
All right. Defense five against melee five. Straight flips. Straight flip. Got an eleven. Got a twelve. So I'm winning. Uh, I'm not cheating that because I can't anymore. Okay. Difference of one, so it's a negative flip. Two pick the lowest. Okay. It's gonna be weak. You take one. I'll take one of the witchling. All right. Witchling's got two hit points left. You got another attack coming That's up. Right. And I flip a 13 this time for an 18. Oh, I flip a 12. That's going to still go to you, though, by one. Okay, so negative. Two pick the lowest. Come on, moderate. No, it's weak. It takes one more. All right. I'm still standing ever so slightly. I've got one hit point left on him. There. Now I have one hit point left on him. All right, so doing our reconnoiter scoring. I'm holding this quadrant. Yeah. The other two are contested. No, I hold this one. Oh, sorry. You hold that one. This My mistake. Right, and now he is no longer burning or paralyzed, but he does take one damage because of the burn. To clarify that the paralyzed actually went away at the end of his activation, but it doesn't really matter for the purpose of what just happened. So we've discarded and shuffled, we're flipping for initiative, turn three. Quattro. Boom! You're going first. I am. Man, that just wasted a good 13 though. I only really need to flip a five there. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna activate the judge first. He's gonna fire his long arm pistol at Angel Eyes. Okay. So that for me is a shooting five. Because. All right, now I want to make sure this time that one of the criticals actually goes off. Sure. So to do that, I spend that soul, tone, so, soul, soul stone yep. now, correct? You got it, yeah. If you want to add a suit, yeah, do it now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add masks to it. So okay. I'm going to and I'm going to add masks to whatever we flip here. Okay. All right. Eight of rams. Oh, so I got a total of eight. So I got a total of 13. So I'm cheating first. So you're at 13 to 8, difference of 5. You could cheat it higher and make this really bad. And you're at 13, you said? Yep. I will cheat with an 8 to make mine a 14. Okay, I'm going to cheat. I really want this off, so I'm cheating with a 13 of Rams. 18, okay, so it's a negative flip, though, because that's only a difference of 4. Okay. So flipping 2, picking the lowest. 5, so 6. Ouch. So it's going to be weak. So that's going to be 2 damage. Okay. Then I also get off both of my criticals because I got both a ram and I paid for the mask. Mm -hmm. well, you, so get, you get to pick one trigger. You get, get to pick one? Yeah. Okay, one moment. Yeah, so I paid for the mask, so I'm going to use the bullets and blades trigger, which means I get to make a long arm blade attack, which means for whatever reason, my sword also hits you, basically. Okay. All right. So you've taken the two damage so far. So I'm going to stone it away. Okay. All right, so you're down to two so stones stone eight, left. Six. I stone it all gone. Okay, so no more damage again. Stupid angel eyes. Two, two dens left. <laughs> now you get to make your long Okay, arm so the long arm blade, that's going to be a six ram attack for me. I got a, a flip of two. Fifteen. Uh, I got a eight. eight. Uh, I'm going to cheat that up to a sixteen. And I'm fifteen right now. And you've cheated first, so you can't cheat again. Oh, that's right. I could have, oh, I guess you wouldn't have cheated, though, because you already passed. I'd already, yeah, already yeah. passed. So, yeah, so um, there's no point. In, yeah. I'm going to cheat it with a 13 to make a miss. Okay, so that doesn't do anything whatsoever, including the critical that could have been on it. Second action. So we're going to use my second action. I'm just going to shoot you again with the long arm pistol, so straight shooting five. I'm also going to play another soul stone to put another mask on this one. Defense six. Eleven. Eleven to nine. I'll cheat that up to a nine of tomes. So it's going to be a uh, 15. 14. 14. Yeah, sorry, 14. Okay. I can do math today, I swear. I'm going to cheat to a 15. So okay. Fine. So you're missing again. Or I'm missing, rather. Excellent. Um, so I might as well da -da -da, stand for judgment. I don't see any point in doing that. You don't, yeah, it's a zero. Yeah, it's a zero. I could do it against someone else, I suppose. With a 12, yeah. It's a push. You can pull him on the melee. I could, but... Oh, and casting the melee, there's a chance I'm going to hit myself, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's not bother. Okay. Illuminate's going to activate. He's going to regenerate his damage off again. So that one damage goes away from the fire. Okay. And then he's going to start swinging at you with hardened brilliance. Okay. So okay. attack six against defense five. I got 12. I got much higher. Wow. Well, she thought to a 19. All right. That's still a 19. Uh, you have an 18. Sorry, eight. Defense five? Yeah. So you have yeah, 18, sorry. 19. I have an 18. Defense one, so it's negative flip. Um, I also prog flay, so I can cheat this, but I get moderate, which is four. I'll take it. Okay. Okay, so executioner down to two damage right now, or two hit points left. Let's see if I can hit you again. All right. That's a 19. Oh, you're terrifying. I am terrifying. Yeah, let's, uh, we forgot all about this again. Uh, that's okay. You want to uh, just roll these back? No, it's fine. So we've got... 
The six for my terrifying test, which passes. Okay. Then it would have been a 13. It's a terrifying 12. What's your willpower? Six. Okay, so, so six it's... passes. This is in my hand still. Yeah. Then I hit with an eight. I miss because you flip a 13. I play this. This is my damage flip. So actually nothing really changed. Nothing changed. I have to flip a new one for my attack. Right. Which is now a 12. So that's, that's all super. Yeah. One, one more card has to come out and it's a 12. Yep. Everything stayed exactly the same except for that. All right. So I still take... How much damage is that going to be? It was the exact same before. It's yeah. You know, this is my to hit. So yeah, and I have to flip damage. Yep. Because you're not cheating it any higher. I can't cheat high enough to do anything about that. Okay. So that's my negatives. So moderate damage, which is another four. All right, and that kills the executioner. All right, and the executioner is dead. Uh, my mistake. I probably should have activated him first and at least got some heals off, so he tanked a little or, bit better. Or killed me. <laughs> or it doesn't so kill him. Does smell like a ton of bricks. Yeah. So that's that's rookie mistake there, because this could have happened later. Wouldn't really have changed much unless you ran away. I would have run away. <laughs> <laughs> I still could have pulled you another five. Like it's, it's anyway, it doesn't matter. Yep. Point is, that was kind of dumb on my part. Witchling and Witchling left. Yeah, I've got two Witchlings left. It's my activation. I will... I'm going to be janky and charge Angel Eyes with this Witchling. Okay. That's uh, definitely enough room there to do yeah, that. Point. I'm not going to measure it. That's I would have first. Yeah. Okay. All right, and that's a charge, so Malia attack number one. On defense six. I think it's Malia five. Uh, you're six, actually. Six? I'm pretty sure. There we go. I have an 18 to your 16. All right. I um, can't cheat that, so that one misses. Second one. I have an 18. Yeah. More? 18 to my much launch less. Oh okay, nothing goodness. happens. All right. We're going to activate. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that. Mm, yeah, we're going to activate this guy. Terror Tot. Yeah, and he's going to try and eat your Wishling. Okay. One attack. Melee five against defense five. I got a one. I got a three. I slightly win that. <sighs> cheat it to a 12. All right. I'll cheat it to also a 12. So it still hits you. Oh, wait. Sorry. Then you, you well, Sorry. I thought it was, yeah. I'm used to every other game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to. Yeah, we'll miss there then. Miss then. So second attack. Attack you again. Okay. Ah, uh, you miss. Okay. And normally you'd not be allowed to put a card back like that with you know, learning game. It's fine. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to swing back. Let's go ahead and just stab your tarot tot. Well, that's a black joker. Nothing black good about big. that. Attack number two. That's that's also bad. Slightly better. I have I have a total of eight to your... At least you can cheat it now. I you. can at least cheat that. Yeah. You have a total of eight, that's so I'm going to just cheat with my nice low card there. That's still mm, going to hit. That's going to make yours a nine? Yep. And I just bled your whole <laughs> hand out, which is good at least. <laughs> my, my hand's gone. All right. I have nothing left. So my witchlings have accomplished nothing besides bleeding cards. Yeah. Angel is going to try and break off. So okay. she's going to make a flip. You can try and attack me. All right. Uh, with any of your melee yeah. weapons against my defense. If you hit me, you do no damage, but I don't move. All right. I got a nine. So I would have got an eight there. Mm, so, yeah, eight. So you can try and cheat if you want. I will. Yeah, let's good. cheat it. Okay. So now I'm stuck there fighting you, and I'll try to attack you. Okay. Because uh, now I don't get a chance to shoot. So teeth and blackened claws, melee six. I get a 16. You get a not 16. <laughs> that so would be a nine. A nine, so I'll hit you by seven. So it's cheatable if I had any cards, but I don't. So straight flip. It'll be weak, two damage. All right, and that witchling. All right, so that witchling takes two damage, down to four left. So that's going to prog hide in the shadows. Okay. I'm move up to three inches, but I have to maintain melee with you because I haven't broken off. I'm just going to go take cover over here. Okay. And still be with the G. All right. Uh, and she's done, so it's just sign of black blood left. Yes, it is. And he does not like to fight the judge by himself because he thinks that's a terrible idea. But he might just have to go do it. He might just have to run over there and be the man. The man that we all need him to be. Uh, so. Yeah, we're going to move, move. We're going to go 10. Move 5. And then move 5. And go stay on top of you. Right all right. So we're engaged, but not doing anything about it right now. That's it. Okay. And that's end of turn. So scoring your... This one's now contested. You've got this one. Contested, contested, and I still have this one. Yeah, so you're up another one. Nope, nothing. Nope, all right, you have to get two to get a victory point. So, two turns of no one scoring points. That's right, we're on turn four. 
All right, so we just shoveled. I stoned to draw two more cards because I actually pulled a handful of aces, and that's kind of sad. That's not what you want. Aces no. are bad in this game. Yep. Wow. Nine. You got nine. that. Okay, I'm take it. What to do? What to do? Does he have any damage on him? Uh, he took two. That's right. I hit him yeah. once. She's not really a melee check is a problem. Right. But I have no way of getting to him otherwise. And you still have to try and break away again if you want to leave. Yeah. All right, Terratot. Uh, he's gonna swing on you. All right. Melee five, eight to nine. nine. All right, let's just go ham. 18. I'm just gonna let you hit me. Okay. <laughs> so, I think that kills me then. It does kill you, yeah. And I'll take the two splash damage. Uh, 18 to nine is not cheatable. Just be a top card, so it's moderate. You explode. Yep. I take two. You take two. Because I have explosive death. Because the problem is, I if you hit me, my yeah. black blood would kill you. Right. And I would then die in return. Because no matter how much damage you do in your grid, yeah. it's enough to kill me with your explosion. Right. So I had to go first, or I was going to lose him in the peace trade. <laughs> Second action, we're going to sprint. Okay. He's going to go five. Over right here, flip a card. It's a mask, so he gets to go five again. Of course it is. Boop. He's been very lucky with those masks. I have been so far, actually. Yeah, we're but not three for three right now on his printing. I like it. All right. So the judge is going to uh, wail on the scion a little bit here. So we're going to use the long arm blade. All right. So I'm going to trade one soul stone to automatically add a mask to whatever I flip. All right. Okay. So this is a six ram attack. Def four. I got eight. a whole eight to eight. I'm gonna cheat that up. I have to cheat first, actually. Okay, that's right, you do. Because I'm losing. Are you? Oh, right, yeah. Ties are a lose. And I will cheat with. I keep thinking ties are a win eight. for yeah, the defender. Seven. That's gonna make me at 11. Cheat okay. Eight. And I'm sorry, six, so I need to cheat with at least a five. I will cheat with a six of books. Six of tomes, not Apparently books. That makes you a 12 yeah. to my 11. Okay, so it's a negative flip, so to pick the lowest. Okay, so we're flipping three. Weak. So, weak. so it's gonna be weak. <laughs> How much damage is that? Weak is going to be two damage. All right, and you'll get splashed for one. Okay. And then blades and bullets goes off because yep. so that's again. his first damage. All right, so next attack is going to be a shooting five. That's four. I got a seven. Ten. I'm gonna cheat with a 10 to make it a 14. Okay. I will cheat. Uh, I'll cheat with a 12. Mm, to make it an 18 to 18. four? Yeah. Okay, so you still make it a flip, so to pick the lowest. All right. Weak again? Yeah, it's gonna be weak. Okay, so All right, damage. so that's another two damage, and that won't trigger anything else. And you'll get splashed as well. And I get splashed for another one. All right, I'm gonna throw my last soul stone on to make sure there's a mask on this attack as well. Okay. Okay, so starting with another long arm blade, flipping at 16. All right, you got a 16 and I have a eight. Oh, 16 to eight, I'm not gonna cheat. Go okay, so that's going to be, sorry, 16, eight, that's gonna be eight, so it's gonna be straight flip. Straight flip. Yes. Moderate. Moderate, so that's going to be four damage. Okay. And because I added the mask, uh, long arm pistol attack. Again, two. All right, so as long as the attack hits, you're probably dead. So you got a 19. 19, uh, 18, because the pistol's a 18. five. Okay, so 18 to 15. I can't really do anything to beat this. It'll be a negative flip. What's the low damage on it? Is it still two? Low damage is two. Uh, can't live. But I gotta waste the cards. Yep. Okay. So low flips, I gotta flip two anyway. Yep, pick low. Still weak. Three. Kill weak. Weak is uh, two damage. And you got splashed two more times. Yep. Alright, so I did kill off the Scion. Yep. Eventually, yep. almost with chip damage. And you also hit me back with four chip damage. So that's both of his actions done, but I do have stand for judgment, which is a zero action, uh, range 12 gun. I'm pretty sure you're within 12 there. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. no problem there. I'm um, so gonna go ahead and fire that at 
You're illuminated. That's going to be a casting five ram. Against my willpower. Against your willpower. There's a five, so ten. Mm, ten to eight. And it pulls me forward five, and yeah. what else? Does it do That's all it does, pull you forward five. How much do you Push to here. And it just gets you out of that, contesting so, that quarter. Shrooms. Charge in. Boop. Because I pulled you closer and gave you the opportunity to charge me. That was well, smart. I actually charged eight. So okay. If I was you, within ten, I would have been able to. Yeah, you would have been making it anyway then. We were within ten. It, it wouldn't. It really wouldn't have It been. made no difference whatsoever. Uh, so first attack, I am melee six with my claws. And I'm defense five. Nineteen. Two. No. Um, sorry, what are you at right now, you said? Uh, Nineteen. You need to get within... You need to get to a fourteen to make it so I can't cheat. So you need a nine or better. All right, I'm going to... Cheat it to a 12, so it's okay. at least a negative so flip. It's two flips, pick the lowest. And that's going to be moderate and moderate, so okay. that will be four damage. Oh, there we go, hang on. Yeah, so it's still moderate. You had to yeah. flip one more card. For hard to wound. So yeah. it's an eight, 10, six. And that puts you at, uh, yeah, four more damage, so two left. All right. Poor little judge. All right, one more attack, attack to go. That's right. Let's see if we get it. It's going to be a. Not super great, so that's a 11 to your 16. 16. I'm going to make it a 18 to your 16. So All right, 18. so I'm going to hold that, so I'm going to... I okay. can't cheat any higher. So, so it's negative. So negative, negative 2. Negative. Yeah. And that will be 3, pick the lowest. Uh, severe, severe, and moderate, so it's 4 <laughs> damage. Okay, 4 damage is enough to kill me. And that goes... But I am hard to kill. When the model has two or more wounds remaining, it may only be reduced to one wound. Yep. So I'm going to take one point from this. Yeah, so I'm still standing. All right, so I've just got the Witchling Stalker left to activate here, and he's already engaged with Angel Eyes. Oh, we're just going to go ahead and start wailing on her. Because there's not much else to do. Nope. Def six. And sorry, I think it was attack six. Six, Milly six, yep. They're really good for their points. Uh, I got so I got 15. a 14, so you win that one. Okay. Second attack. 18. You win that one too. Okay. Damn your high cards, man. <laughs> She's gonna try and break off. Okay. Uh, defense six, I get a 15, you get a 15, so I'm technically winning. Or no, you're technically winning. Cause it's, Cause it's an attack on my part, yeah. Do it again. Okay. Uh, you got a- 12. I can't beat it. Okay. She'll stay there. She, she stands there and does nothing. That's it, that's her. I've got one zone right now with two guys in it. This yep. One's Everything else is empty. Time. So no one gets any points once again. Once again, reckoning does not happen. And also, I don't know that I can anymore because I only have two points on the table, or <laughs> models on the table, period. You still hold two quarters. Just yeah, just very, out. very unlikely. That's it. So shuffle and discard. Yeah, shuffle and discard. Initiative. I got that. First. All right. Um, we're going to get the judge first because we want him to live. Get to work, old man. Yep. I have no soul stones left to guarantee any more... Masks? Lots, yeah. All right, so attack six, defense five. Wow, I got a whole eight. You definitely beat that. 14, I'm gonna cheat. So you're at 13? 14. 14. So we have a horror duel to do. That would have been, you know, definite pass there, but that was, I assume 13's gonna be pass. Uh, yeah, that was your, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if 13's not a pass, there's no way to pass it, you were so. Fine, yeah. <laughs> and now your next one will be. Okay, so my next card was the two, which would have been the attack. Now you get to cheat. Yeah, so I miss with an eight then in that case. Okay. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna cheat. So I'm going to throw down an 11 to making it a 17. Mm, 17 to 14, I'll take it, it's negative flip. So okay, pick the lowest. flip two, pick the lowest. 12, uh -oh. 10. No, it's moderate. Moderate, okay. So I have armor one, that'll reduce the damage by one. So okay, and you four. take four. Down to three. And none of my flips proc anything. Okay. Um, do I take any splash damage from him? Nope. Okay, good. Because <laughs> that would have chipped me to death. Go for it. All right, so next one. I got an I got an 18. ace. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna let that ride. Okay. Nothing happens. All right, Illuminate's activating, swinging on the judge. Uh, first, he's gonna regenerate one. So okay. He's gonna two damage. Then he's gonna zero action, um, and he's gonna brill shape. Okay. Which is casting five against target number 10. It goes off. He does a healing flip. One, two, three. So he's going to heal two more. So he's back to zero damage. Of course he is. Because he imagines that he's okay because the drugs that he's taking tell him he is. And I he starts swinging on you. Okay. So stabby stab with the claw hands. He's got a melee of six, so a 13. Okay. To five, you have a 17. Yes, I do. 
Uh, we're just gonna make that a 19, so I hit you. Okay, and doesn't I kind of have to let that ride. Doesn't matter how much damage I do. Oh, but I black joker and you die. Okay. You don't die, sorry, you live. So now I have to swing on you again. Because I black jokered. Oh yeah, <laughs> red joker would be I die. Yeah, black joker is zero damage. You just don't take any damage. Okay, have to so take. second attack, sorry, yeah. you flipped a five. I did. Eight, so, so that's gonna be 11. a 13 on my side. Yeah, well let's just do that then and make it an 18. Okay, that's gonna hit, because okay. I'm not gonna cheat that <laughs> so out. So again, 18 to 13 is a difference of five, so it's three negatives, because they're hard to kill. That's gonna be weak, which is two, and that's enough to kill you. That's enough to kill me. Goodbye, Judge. Judge, 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 Judge. Over to you, Wishling Stalker. Yeah, obviously Wishling Stalker, because that's what I got left. And we're just gonna wail on you more. Okay. Eight of Rams. Uh, six to 18, so 18 to 14. So I miss. <laughs> okay, again. <laughs> you did get a bad hand. I got a oh, terrible hand. There we go, opposite, so eight to 18. Yeah. Difference of 10, which means you can cheat it. Do I want to cheat that back so that you can't cheat it? Eight to 18, I can't get it high enough. I have to get it. You also know I have a bad hand, so I'm not looking to cheat it above I, I 12. Understand. Yeah, okay, yeah, go <laughs> So go ahead and hit me. All right, straight flip, 13. Not bad. How much is that? Okay, so that's five. No, there's no blast. That's the pistol that causes oh, the blast. Okay. So just five. Five, but then burning one. And then you take one from Splash. Splash. So Here's some stone damage. damage. Yep, see if we can get rid of some of that. I'm gonna get rid of one. Uh, yeah, it's four. No, it's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's get rid of one. Okay. I'm not gonna cheat again. All right, and that's both my attacks. Okay. The first one missed. So that's my whole little turn. So you got two activations to go. Yeah, we'll do the tear top first. Okay. He's going to go activate and sprint. All right. So sprinting, he gets a mask, he goes 10. So five, five. And then he's going to place a ski marker. Okay. Bloop. Saw that coming. Yeah. Uh, and then we activate angel eyes. All right. Uh, and Angel Eyes is just going to break off. All right. So Let's hope this works in my favor. I got a, you got a 11? No, you got a 10. 10. I got a defense 15. Do you want to cheat? Um, you need a nine. Yeah, I can't cheat that high, so. Okay. So I'll break off five. Yeah, just so people know what's going on here. Bloop. <laughs> see, see how that goes. Uh, and then we're going to shoot guns at you, because that's what we do. And the snapshot rifle is shoot six. Okay. So hitting, uh, you know what? We're gonna use a stone to put a ram in our total. Okay. Stone, just cause. Just so cause, eh? See if we hit. I got the red joker. Okay, so I die. We'll just flip, see yeah. what happens. You might not die. Defense five. So I got a. We need the total. You got a 15 yeah. Yeah. to my 20. <laughs> and okay, this is also being a ram. So it's only a difference of five. So yeah. actually it's, believe it or not, a, no, sorry, it's a 14 to 20, it's a difference of six. Yeah. So it is cheatable. Um, and it's straight, which is moderate, but I will cheat it up to being severe. And it's plus two damage because of two rams, so that's six damage and he just explodes. Yes, he does. And you're not close enough to take explosion damage from nope, him. Nope, that was the plan. And, and I'm tabled. And that's game. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'll get one at the end of the round for Reconnoiter. Yes, you will. And then I got Breakthrough, which I revealed. Yep. Um, I get one for revealing it and one for... You have to have at least two, two VP VPs. from it to get the extra one. So I'm only get one from it, so that's going to be two total. Two total, and two I got nine. zero. Uh, sorry, and I also got Assassinate. Which, I also had Assassinate, but I clearly didn't get it off because she's still standing there. It, I didn't get it before turn four, so it's only worth two, which puts me at four. So we're at four nothing. <laughs> that's game. That's game. All right, so there's my first game of Malifaux. Uh, win for Ash, but not by a huge margin. No, we went like four rounds. That's for any for yeah. two, which is not that uncommon in um, low point games. Reconnoiter, because you don't have that many models to play with. Yeah, but still going until turn five and not having any ways for Reconnoiter at all. Yeah, was not not super common. Right. It was pretty tight. When you've got five models and you got to hold at least two quadrants, it's yeah. you know obviously the math is not in your favor. We, even. Didn't, we didn't really start P straight either until yeah like turn four which was uh, yeah. pretty late in the game to be doing that too. So you've got the Lady J box and all those stuff to- And a couple extra death marshals. Yeah. So, yeah. so you got to try the judge and you got to see that you can- uh, Sorry, I marshals. have the Lady J box and some death marshals. That's not what I played with today. That's right, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So if you get that painted, <laughs> yeah. you can then try out death marshals, uh, Lady J herself, and also the scales. Yeah. that in the box set. Yeah. 
Cool. Yeah, so that'll be coming soon. Um, they're on my painting table, but there's a lot on my painting table. And there's commissions in line of anything I want to paint for myself comes after, after commission painting. So right. anytime you give me a commission, I appreciate it because that's obviously what I love doing. But it also means my stuff gets painted a little bit slower. So there's kind of some, you know, there's peace trade in my own work. It's about life balance, man. It it's is. It's life balance. And I'm building a studio balance. in the basement right now, which that, is, you know. That is taking up a significant amount of It is, but it's going to look great when it's done. It will. Yeah. Yes. And you guys will appreciate it because the videos will be more plentiful and beautiful as well. Absolutely. If you do want to hire me for commission painting, uh, email me epicduckstudios at gmail.com. Quotes are free. So just let me know what you want painted, how you want it painted, as much or as little details you want to give me, and I'll get back to you. And as always, happy wargaming.